Alrighty, so today's video is going to be a little bit different video. So as you can see here, I've got a piece of six arc brass. Now this is three times fired brass, and it's got problems already. Our primer pocket on this piece of brass is pretty well smoked. So if we look here, if we take a close-up look, that is some Grendel brass that's sized down, which is from Hornady. And I've got a CCI 400 primer there, and that primer will just slide right in and it will also pop right out so three times fired and this piece is pretty well smoked this isn't the only piece that i've had do this i've had to throw away a few pieces of my six arc brass now only with three firings because the primer pockets are loose now i haven't run any crazy loads i don't think you know i haven't run anything over 2700 or so feet per second but and I've also pretty well followed most load data, specifically Hornady's load data, and now we have these issues. As you can tell, that piece of brass isn't really, it's got a little ejector smear on the top there, but it's not super damaged or anything like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk a little bit about Hornady's load data, because I think that is part of the culprit for this issue. All right, so the first set of Hornady's load data I wanna look at is going to be the 103 to 105 class bullets there with Varget, because they've listed that for both gas and bolt gun. So they list a max charge with the gas gun with this combination of 27 grains and a max of 28.5 grains with a bolt gun. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of work with these two bullets in Varget, but my Gordon's reloading tool predicts the max pressure for the bolt gun to be about 69,000 PSI with that 28.5 grain load and that 27 grain load to be about 57,000 PSI. So higher than what it should be. Now, if we took a, take a look at the Reloader 15 loads with those same Hornady's bolt and gas gun data, they list 28.9 grains for the bolt gun data, which is 70K PSI on GRT, and 27.6 grains for the gas gun, which is about 60K. Now, I think that's kind of part of the issue. I think their load date is a little bit hot and it's leading to some issues at known charges. The worst one is with lever evolution. If you look at their lever evolution data for the bolt gun, they list 30.8 grains, which is about 78K PSI um, per GRT and 29.5 grains for the gas gun, which is about 66,000 PSI. So. The, this, this load right here seems to be way over pressure. I have not tested that load. I, I worked up with some PowerPro 2000R, but not near Hornady's Max. Now, if we move over to the 108, it gets a little bit more complicated because Hornady doesn't have load data for the 108 for gas gun. They just list that with the bolt gun. Now, I've got a lot of experience with this, this bullet. I shot up to 27 grains of Varget in a competition, which showed some pressure signs. Now, they list a max charge of... 28.1 grains of Varget. Now, interestingly enough, GR2 is just predicting this at about 57,000 PSI. So again, that's why computer models aren't necessarily the best. We're just using it for a little bit of extra reference today. Now, I've also shot Reloader 15 with the 108 ELD, and I shot that up to Hornady's max at 28.9 grains, which GRT is predicting 74,000 PSI. And I don't know, maybe that's why our brass is having short life. Maybe these are way over pressure and we're just tearing up our brass. Again, looking back at lever evolution, they list a max charge of 31.2 grains, um, which is about 73,000 PSI according to GRT. So I'm wondering if all of Hornady's load data is just too hot and we're just pushing this little case too hard. Again, if you look closely, you can see that little ejector smear on there. It's very slight, but I wonder if we're just trying to push this little cartridge too hard. I kind of want to make this video because I was curious if you guys have had these same issues. Normally, I'm able to go up to most manufacturers' mass loads without issue, but it seems like in the 6 arc, anytime I look at Hornady's load data, it's always a little bit crazy compared to what I end up being able to get away with. Now, if, if you do look at Hodge Gun's load data, um, their loads are much lighter than Hornady's loads, so maybe I should start following that a little bit better, but they don't list a difference between bolt and gas gun. They just list those 50,000 PSI loads. 
So let me know how your guys' brass life is. Mine's not going real great right now with the Hornady brass, um, and it's mainly the primer pockets. Everything else looks pretty good. The case head looks okay, and we're just having issues with primer pockets. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know your experiences. I really want to know if people are having these same issues that I'm having. So other than that, Six Arc's a good cartridge. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.